Okay, uh, I'm going to do another draw. What have we got here? Okay. Uh, hopefully it's not too new one. I just put that last night. Ah, okay. One I'm pretty familiar with, but uh, I want to go back over it. Uh, Royal Rumble 1998. Ah, uh, so it's not really Royal Rumble season, but okay. But let's have a look. Uh, and next time we'll put some decent light on. Okay guys, um, I'll move the camera for this one, but uh, yeah, let's go over things here. Uh, this is for the Royal Rumble 1998, which is for Roulette. Um, I did this before, I put some entries in so there won't be another list of entries this time. Vader and the artist formerly known as uh, it's formerly known as Goldust. This is a, st a feud stemming from the Survivor Series, so pretty good continuity-wise back then. Um, uh, and this was a pretty good opener. Uh, I was watching it, and this is just my opinion now. It's a pretty good, good match. Um, I remember not liking it, but I actually remember liking the next match, which was the six-person minis match, uh, little, little people's match. And it was really quite good, uh, really interesting uh, that I didn't couldn't get into it this time. Uh, Sonny was the only one person in the ring that was over, so that's probably why. And I, I'm wondering if this is just a, a symptom because of a lack of, ta of like talent really in WWE at the time, uh, WWF. But because uh, here yeah, it's just interesting that you got The Rock taking on. Ken Sh uh, Shamrock here uh, for the Intercontinental title. N these two just didn't have... I, like, I wouldn't say it was a terrible match, but just, like, watching it, it's like <laughs> something wasn't clicking. It wasn't the... Uh, an, wasn't the chemistry that Rock would end up having with Austin the the following year, or the, with, Man uh, with Mankind the, the year after. The Legion of Doom, Hulk and Animal uh, defeating uh, the the New Age Outlaws, but this was by disqualification, thus the New Age Outlaws retained the belt. This is another one that wasn't great, but but like this was more passing of the torch type thing. And in that respect it was pretty good because like you got the young New Age Outlaws, now now obviously not, but yeah, they was and you got the uh, the legendary uh, Legion of Doom, Road Warriors, and it's just mad. Uh, the 30 Man Royal Rumble, as, uh, as I said before with this, <laughs> the, the, this year's, uh, uh, the, the 98 one, not bad, you had, you had some good stuff, you had, uh, Mick Foley coming in, like, three times, three, three times with three, with, as Cactus Jack, Dude Love, and Mankind, and, yeah, uh, again, just really great. Uh, now, The Rock was the last one eliminated by Austin, and uh, amazing, the following year, it would be Rock and Austin in the main event at WrestleMania, so really cool. Um, and, like, there's some cool moments in here, like the opening with Cactus Jack and Terry Funk. You had some pretty good, cool spots here. But like mainly it was built around um it was built uh, built around Austin w uh, winning the match uh, and everyone else just wanting to get even with him and he, uh, I'm just wondering why there was like like you look at the this roster uh, this this thing here you got Bradshaw who's blackjack Bradshaw you've got Owen Hart you, uh, there's uh, like Kurgan, really? Um, 
the Honky Tonk Man. Uh, it's not. It, it, this is not a very star-studded thing here. And you know, yeah, um, Kane's not even in the the Rumble, which is really interesting because Kane, like, uh, uh, granted they were building towards Kane uh, and Taker, but um. I would have put him in the rumble and just uh, for some reason he just doesn't win but I, I'm guessing they didn't want to hurt Kane and that was probably a good idea uh, but yeah uh, I wouldn't say it was the best Royal Rumble ever but it's definitely a good one um, I would probably say put it in the top 10 uh, but it's in the middle there Shawn Michaels uh, uh, taking on the Undertaker with Triple H and China in his corner. Triple H was injured at this time. And I've seen highlights of this match numerous times. Um, I have the tape, Undertaker the Phenom, and it's just a, essentially a highlights video uh, of some of the his best matches. But, man. Um, it's funny, because, like, last time at Beware a Dog, or the main event was a casket match. It's really weird. Uh, but definitely, uh, like, probably one of the better ones, uh, but I, I'm curious, like, I probably would have put the casket match on before the Royal Rumble. I'm just curious about why things were placed the way they were. Um, I'm, gu I'm guessing they wanted to end with Taker's disappearance, um, but I don't, there's just some weird placement of that. Um, I'm guessing they want to end with Taker gone, supposedly dead. Uh, but they would reveal the following night anyway that the casket was empty. Because it's pretty obvious. So you can see now there's the, the little door on the side that Taker get, is supposed to get out of and get underneath the ring. Really interesting stuff um, in that respect. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, some good good stuff here. Uh, like this is a pretty good Royal Rumble. Uh, probably not the best, but definitely not the worst. But uh, I would put it as a whole card. I probably wouldn't say. Oh, you got to check it out immediately. It's just if it was on the network and it was coming up uh, around Raw Rumble season, you probably wouldn't hate hate it or anything. It's not like the last few we've got. This was in San Jose, by the way. Oh, they got 18,542 people. So, pretty big house. Um, uh it doesn't say here if there was anything on the free-for-all. So, see, so there wasn't even anything on the free-for-all, like, match-wise. So, yeah, you, you look at it now, you look at them now, and it's just crazy. But, um, I might do another draw later on tonight, but this was pretty cool. See you all later.